I got the idea for the Velocity of Autumn uh, one afternoon when I was walking uh, in my neighborhood. And I was walking past a, a neighbor's house. She was an elderly woman, and I knew her children. They felt that it was necessary for her to move out. She was no longer able to safely take care of herself. And then I thought, well, what would happen if she just refused to go? What if she decided that she just said, if anyone comes in here, I'll, I'll burn the whole place down? What if she basically held herself hostage? And I thought, well, that's a weird idea, and that, and which instantly is my little radar for plays, thinking, oh, but that's also an interesting idea for a play. And eventually, all of that led, to all those seeds blossomed into the velocity of autumn. Ever since we've been working on this play, uh, and uh, Molly came on board as director, and we brought in the actors, I was, there was a point in rehearsal, watching Estelle and Steven, that I, I, just watching their work and watching the way Molly was working with them and the scenes they were creating, and I thought, this is something special. What they are creating in this room is something that I have not seen before, that, uh, that I think a lot of people will not have seen before, and they're really getting at some, some hard truths in this, and they're doing it really in a hilarious way, and I want everyone I know to see this. When I wrote it, I was, I was exploring questions of interest to me and conversations that I felt like I needed to have. And it turns out, apparently, these are conversations that America needs to have. And, and I've seen a lot of people who come either with their children or with their parents uh, to the play, and it seems to be a conversation starter of, is that your experience? Is that how you feel? And uh, if this play can take some little piece of that conversation and make it uh, an easier transition for all of us, Excellent.